it was kind of a different role for you. You know, you had your games you played, but there was a lot of work off the ice you did with this team. How do you reflect on this season for you personally? Yeah, obviously, a player at heart wants mm -hmm. to be on the ice, but at the same time, I understand my role. I understand where I'm at, and part of my job coming back here this year was is to help their prospects and help their young guys kind of understand the pro game and, and give them a little tidbit of help that, that can get them to the NHL and, and help push them that way. So that way, I think it was a positive year. I think a lot of our young guys made great strides, and we're playing big minutes in the playoffs. Well, and you look at some of the younger guys that had come out of college that had just signed those late contracts, and we may not have seen them on the ice in the playoffs, but they were with this team. They were seeing what the daily grind was like, and they had to work all that under you on the ice, it seemed like, every single day. So what was that experience like, really being almost a de facto coach throughout the postseason? Yeah, it was great. It, it, my message to them was you just never know in the playoffs. We were, we were very fortunate. We had very little injuries and very little hiccups that way. So, But at the same time, you know, you got to be ready. And that's some message I tried to send every day is you never know what can happen in the playoffs. And, and you don't want to let your teammates down if you do get in by not being in shape or not ready to go. So push them that way and, and just try to keep us all in shape. Is there a coaching in the future of Greg Rollo? I don't know yet. I, uh, <laughs> I love the game so much I can't imagine not being around it. And right now I'd, I'd love to play another year or two or who knows. Body feels really good after this season. And worked really hard the last couple months to stay in shape and, and be ready in case I got the chance to play and right now the the drive and the will to play is still there so that, that's my intentions for now. Whether it's Cedar Park, <coughs> whether it's San Antonio, you, you've always been a Texas guy, your family certainly loves it here. Do you know what is the plan for next season or what is in the future for Greg Rollo and, and if he'll have a chance to be a part of hockey in Texas in some way? Yeah, I, it's it's up uh, up in the air right now. I think it's, it's the same thing as every year in my career. It's kind of Management has to decide on which direction they'd like to go, and and for me, it's uh, Whitey and, and Jim both. I, I expressed my love of being a Texas Star and and where I want to be and and where my family is comfortable, and we really enjoy it here. I really enjoy the organization. I think it's very promising and bright. They always have good, charactered young players and willing to. And the best part about that is they're, they they listen and they're willing to work with you, and and they actually take your advice. So that's nice. You've got a few trips to the finals in your career, you know, early on and then just this past season. Uh, it certainly never gets easier, especially when you lose in a game seven, but just the overall run, the overall ride. How do you kind of look at this team? Because I think a lot of people would say roller coaster when it's, uh, when it's all said and done. Yeah, honestly, until the last four minutes, we everybody in the box upstairs is like, we're winning still. Like, we thought for sure that our team was going to find a way to pull it out, and it just didn't happen that day. But... It's been an incredible run. You look at what this team went through, just barely, you know, down the stretch. We were out of the playoffs in the playoffs, and then to move all the way up and get home ice in the first couple rounds, it was it was a really big accomplishment. And then, you know, to go through the teams that we went through, how heavy and hard they were, and our guys never shied down. They never backed down and kept pushing and pushing. And to take it to Game 7 against a Toronto team that, that was supposed to blow us out of the water, I think uh, opened up a lot of eyes in the hockey world for our young guys. They proved that they can play, and... I think they, a lot of them have promising futures. You look at a player like Sheldon Dries or Gavin Bayruth or Dennis Gurionov, these young guys keep me young at heart. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> that's, it. it's, that's part of the reason I love playing. It's, it's so much fun coming to the rink. Your, your job is to come to the rink and, and play hockey and, and work hard. It's, uh, there's nothing else I'd rather do. And to those young guys that this year, that, like, it was amazing watching them grow and their confidence in the playoffs, Dries and, and Gavin. They, they look like veteran players out there, and they led, they led the way as rookies. That's pretty impressive.